Hey guys, what's up? It's just Ali from Alisa Photography. Okay, so today I'd like us to collaborate this image together. Um, this is a portrait I took from a test shirt with a new model from one of the agencies that I work with. And um, I have already got ahead and done some retouching on this picture. It's, uh, you can see it like that. Really cool. So I went out ahead and did some skin retouching, some dodging and burning. I also did some liquify to kind of like make the eyes bigger. I just like it that way. And we're cool. So um, as far as the collaborating goes, I'm trying to get a very warm, um, contrasty look. I want to increase the contrast on her face. And I would also like to make give it a warm tone. So let's get started. So I'm going to start with a curves layer. I'm going to bring this tub in there. All right, awesome. And I'm going to come down here and darken it a bit. Because that's a bit too much. Awesome. Then I'm going to invert the mask and I am going to paint on her face. Now I'm going to paint everywhere on her skin too. Clavicles, it'll take a while to load. Come on, come on, come on. Unfortunately, my stem is not that fast. All right, now this highlight is a bit too hot, so I'm going to take invert it to black. You can see the X is to, to invert. And then I'm going to paint it off the nose to kind of tame that highlight down. And I'm also going to go across the forehead to kind of tame that highlight on the forehead down. Awesome. Okay. Next, I'm going to take another curve layer. I'm going to go into the red and I'm going to just slightly increase that a bit. I'm going to go to the green. I'm going to bring this down, increase that up. I'm going to go to the blue, bring that down, increase that up a bit. And I'm going to use a color balance layer and I'm going to bring down my cyan to about 5 and bring the blues to about 10. Awesome. All right. And so far, what we have is this. That's really cool. Next, I'm going to go to a gradient map. I'm going to select. Um, this standard grid of um, orange and purple. I'm going to go to screen. All right, awesome. Um, I'm going to grind it down. So about four or five percent. That's cool. That's cool. All right, awesome. So I'm going to merge all those layers together. A stamp. I'm going to create a new one on top. All right. I'm going to go and I'm going to go to my Nick collection, my color effects. I want to bring back the detail in the skin. Just so you guys know, um, Nick Collection is actually free, but now would be a good time to download it because I think Google has actually stopped support for that. It might not be available anymore. So go download your Nick Collection right now if you don't have it. It's free. But for both Windows and Mac, it's free. So go download that. We're waiting, we're waiting. No, I need a new computer. This MacBook is like 2012, really old but money has been going towards other things anyway. All right, so um, the plugin I use is something called Detail Extractor, and these are the settings that I use. And basically, it just kind of like brings back a lot of detail in the skin. So I'm just gonna click OK. And what is gonna happen is, we're waiting for it to load. Load, 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 load. You know what? I'm probably going to speed this up. Yeah, I'm going to speed this up. So, let's go. Okay, all right, 
it's done so now we just want to apply this to the skin not everywhere else maybe like the eyes and things like that so i'm going to create a mask here i'm going to take a brush make sure i'm painting with white and i'm going to paint it over the skin i always paint with a low flow whenever i'm painting or it's taking forever it down all right then I'm going to duplicate it again I'm going to run the camera roll filter now this is only available if you're using Photoshop CC so if you're using CS6 and below you might not be able to do this next step so yeah try and upgrade all right so I'm going to increase the temperature just a bit maybe like 4 plus 4 is good Increase the tint, maybe plus three. Bring the shadows down. Minus 13 is alright. Highlights up. Awesome. And then clarity. Click OK. Put that one. Right, and I'm going to do um, the free transform, which is either Command or Control T. I'm going to hold Shift, and I'm just going to stretch this a little bit, just a bit. All right, awesome. Click Yes. All right, and then finally, I'm going to add some noise, just to kind of cover up a little. A bit of all those blotchy areas to make it not visible and let's flatten this down just merge all of those layers into one so we don't have all the separate layers and that's it so this is where we started from and this is where it ended up and before after so let's turn up everything so this is the image this is after frequency separation and dodging and burning now we color grade it all right guys i hope you learned something new today if you like this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like to see more of these videos please subscribe to my channel i'd really appreciate that and i will catch you in the next one peace guys